the Joe Rogan experience. I don't think these are happy people. All the people you mentioned, I don't. I don't know no. that they were happy. I don't know that. I'm not happy. So you yeah. know, and I and I'm this goofy. But you seem happy. I know. You seem happy when you're around people. Um, that's why that's it's confusing. the scariest thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Nobody's more confused than me. And right now, as I talk to you, I'm incredibly medicated, <laughs> and I, I, I am. <laughs> what and, do they get you on? I'm not talking about what I'm on because okay. people. Uh, it may not be good for you, and right. I don't want people to it. take. Well, that's uh, very admirable of you. Yeah, but I do. I get help. I'm surrounded by people. The dichotomy between how I feel and what I do is huge. You know, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm a fucking mess. And, you know, I deal with depression and anxiety. It's and... unfortunate because you're such a nice guy. Every encounter I've ever had with you has been so pleasant, so fun, and so nice. I always walk away going, Howie is like the nicest fucking guy. Thank you. I always feel that way. So Thank when you. I f hear about a person like you that doesn't feel well, that's n d that gets depressed, I'm like, God damn it, when he's around people, he seems so happy. I'll tell you why. Because, like, in this moment... I'm talking to you, so I'm in this moment, you know, listening to you, responding to you. Um, right now you're happy. I'm distracted. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, so I, I, at mo I am. Because the worst thing for me is quiet time. You know, I don't oh, like I don't I like see. nighttime. I don't I like see. when I get into my own head. That's why I like stand up comedy. Oh. Because in those moments, you're just in the moment. Because you have to be. You know, I could if I veered off into the darkness that is me, mm. and not listening to a word you're saying and not trying to respond. I'm just trying to. You know, I feel like I'm balancing on this little ledge oh. all the time. And these words and these interactions hold me are my cable that hold me on this side of it without falling off wow it, wow That's is heavy it is heavy you know uh, it's like uh, OCD has become a vernacular for a joke I can't tell you how many times a day somebody comes up to me and they go you know I'm a little OCD ish I want all my stuff lined up I like to stay clean too that's not OCD right that's uh, they've used that as a word for being fastidious or neat OCD slightly you, compulsive it's not obsessive compulsive. Well, the obsession is the part that when you are obsessed with a thought and you can't get a thought out of your head, no matter mm. how dark it is, or you can't get a ritual out of your head and you can't move on. You think about Howard Hughes was probably one of the brightest, most productive engineering, you know, marvels of our time in so many in technology and, and mm -hmm. artistry and everything. And his last few years, he was in the fetal position naked in his room, pissing into a bottle. <laughs> right. And I tell people, in, at any given moment when you're with me, I can't tell you, I'm not that far from that. So I'm always just trying to toe, toe the line and be on this side of that door, you know? Have you done any, anything else that helps other than meditation? Have you tried, um, <clears throat> or rather, other than medication, have you tried meditation? I tried it. Uh, done... I've tried meditation, and I've do meditation. Yeah. I've tried medica medita. I've tried everything outside of the, uh, and I'm not opposed to it. Um, the psychedelics and mushrooms and things like that. I don't know if anybody would recommend that to you. Well, here's I... the th here's the problem for me. In order to do that, you'd have to get off your medication, right? And yeah. to get off my, I don't know that I could yeah. survive that bridge right. from my medication to doing that. So. Yeah. The medication is for me my my lifeline. So you would have to be like very very closely supervised during that entire time. I wouldn't I wouldn't know how anybody would approach something like that because I think you're you're dealing with a very specific kind of case, and most of the people that advocate for psychedelics do not advo advocate it for people that are really struggling. Like I, I, mentally, like my, to just to keep it together right now, you know, and to get off the medication, which is helping you keep it together, it probably doesn't seem wise. But there's ways you can do it without drugs. There's like the holotropic breathing. There's some people who practice. I, I, I have never experienced this. So this is me talking out of my ass. But I have direct connections with people that have done kundalini yoga there's a specific style of kundalini yoga specific way that you can achieve these bizarre um states altered states that similar they're similar to uh like mushrooms or a dmt experience they're similar to psychedelics according to people that i know that have actually done the psychedelics and have gotten obsessed with kundalini and they say they can get to that place on their own which is if really you know somebody, then give me a card before there's, I leave here today. I do not know anybody. Well, I, I know um, of some martial artists that have done it, but they don't teach it. But I do know that there's a great place in L.A. that teaches Kundalini Yoga. What well, is, if anybody's like listening to this, and, and you're, uh, I'll read the comments if you have any recommendations. Yeah, I, 
again, this is not, I don't have personal experience with this. So I'm just relaying other people's anecdotes. It seems interesting. Um, but I regular run. yoga for me, I really like a lot. I run. Running's you know, great. But running, I use it as a meditation. Sure. I just, I don't even listen to music. I just listen to the, my, I do it on a treadmill and I just mm. listen to my feet hitting the treadmill and my breath. And I'll do that for an hour. That's amazing. Every day. That's, yeah. that's fantastic. It's good for my physical health, but it's also better for my mental health. So to me, that's yeah. kind of a medica uh, med medication. It is a yeah, medication. Yeah, it is a medication. Yeah. And a meditation. And uh, just staying crazy busy is, mm. uh, is my other form of, uh, I'm really busy. That's good, though. If yeah. You, it seems like everything you're doing, you enjoy. So even though you're busy, you're busy doing fun stuff. I, I th most of the time, I, but I have like a, this uh, this uh, overlay of terror to think that whatever I'm doing is going to end, whatever I'm doing will get me in trouble. You know, like the the truth of the matter is, when I found stand up, stand up was the most freeing thing in the world. Mm -hmm. It was the one place where, unlike you know, acting, I didn't have to recite any lines. I didn't have to hit any marks. You could do anything. And that's why I've been such an advocate for you and all the people that we talked about earlier, because they seem to be incredibly free. 